January 7, Homeward Bound If I take the wings in the morning, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Psalms chapter 139 verses 9 and 10, King James Version Our grandson dog recently returned home to the United States of America after teaching English in Southeast Asia. The entire family eagerly awaited his return, especially his father Terry, who gave us periodic reports of our grandson's flight home. These reports were very meaningful and detailed since our son has a personal knowledge of aviation. His reports went something like this. Dog departed Bangkok for a six-hour flight in a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, one of the most modern airlines flying today. Flight took him over the Pacific, south of China, then up to Japan. Departed Tokyo, heading northeast over the Pacific at a cruising altitude of 35,000 feet and forward speed of approximately 600 miles per hour. Flying east of the northern tip of Japan. Track northeast into the North Pacific Ocean. Aircraft passed about 550 miles south of the Kuril Islands, Russia, heading for the Bering Sea. Tracking showed the aircraft flying at 35,000 feet and pushing 596 miles per hour. Crossing the Bering Sea, it passed 350 miles south of the Aleutian Islands made a slow, southeast arc towards Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Speed remains high through 24,000 feet. On final descent for runway 18, his flight has reached the gate. With tears sliding down my cheeks, I sense the heartfelt love and anticipation of Terry as he tracked his homeward-bound son. Another father is also tracking the return of his homeward-bound children. Our Father in Heaven is watching with anticipation every detail of our lives. Psalms chapter 139 reminds us that He knows all our comings and goings. Such abundant love. Of this love, my favorite author Ellen G. White wrote, All the springs of tenderness which have opened in the souls of men are but a tiny reel to the boundless ocean when compared with the infinite, exhaustless love of God. I had wings and could fly to the ends of the earth. His love will follow me. And when the flight of the saved ends at the gates of heaven, he will gather us in his arms, rejoicing with joy forevermore. His children have come home. Dottie Barnett